so clean hey what is up guys today we're gonna edit some photos or one photo we will be posting this on instagram this is about how to edit your photo on lightroom i will not use any preset either from lightroom or external presets so we're gonna be editing uh, basically on the lightroom's adjustment so take note this is only basic adjustment so we're not gonna use some gradient filter some spot filter but just basic adjustment so i will put some a little bit advanced feature but not too much so. Okay, so since Juni is not here today, I will be editing her photo. We are using the M100 camera, mirrorless camera. It's a cheap camera with a 17 to 55 millimeter lens. So let's start editing this photo. So just a reminder, this is only a basic adjustment. Okay, so since we're gonna post this on Instagram, so we're gonna crop it for Instagram size photo so instagram has uh, if you're doing it in landscape you have wide range of sizes but if you're doing it in on portrait so you only have four by five size ratio so we're gonna crop it using those ratio for crop you can click this crop tool change the aspect ratio to four by five or eight by ten so it's the same click that one landscape is okay but i want it portrait so it can utilize the portrait size of the phone so if you want it to be portrait you just click x on your keyboard it will automatically rotate the aspect ratio and adjust your crop portion of your photo so i am using the golden ratio adjustment so i know uh, where to put my subject so okay and click done so for the temperature um i think the temperature is okay for me um, so we're gonna try adjusting the exposure first and we can go back to the temperature later so exposure make sure that your subject is visible but you have to be careful with the background so for example the sky is too bright you know it's when it's too bright because you cannot see the clouds or the details so if i put it here um, you can see the clouds it's still there it's it's there it has a detail so you you want it to be balanced so I will brighten up the exposure but not too bright so around there for example I can see the subject now but the sky it's not too blown out so for the contrast it's not only adjusting the sharpness or the the, the details also saturating the, the photo and if you don't need it it doesn't mean you don't have to try it so try it okay so I think I want to use this one around there maybe just add some detail so if you do this it's a bit washed out so around there so highlight so this is the time you can bring down the highlights for the sky so I try this see you can see the details on the sky if you use the highlights so you can go back to the exposure and add more okay until you won't see the sky but I want it like there so I can still see this clouds on the top so the subject is a bit still dark because it is on the shadow area of your photo you want to try the shadows moving the shadows it brightens the the subject but be careful also that because the more shadow you lift the more noise you introduce around there i think so you just go back and forth on your adjustment so i will add more contrast i think because when i lift the shadows it washed out the subject so bring up the contrast more Okay, for the whites, so it also affects the sky, but I don't want to overdo this uh, because I think the, the lighting is okay now. Then blacks, I think it's okay also. And just two 
try back and forth on the basic adjustment so if you're familiar with the adjustment already then you can save time if you familiarize all the functions so just do back and forth i still want our subject to be brighter so what i will do is i will use the brush adjustment and i will brush off the subject so i can brighten the subject but the background will be the same for adjusting the brush you can click the bracket to increase and uh, decrease the size of your brush or you can use the zoom scroll on your mouse so brush the area of your subject carefully not the whole subject but you should be careful that the details are still there so the shadows and the highlight are still there so you can see the depth of the face of your subject then brighten up with the exposure as you can see it's changing like there around 30 i think there happy with this one in this area you can exit the, the brush tools you can see i didn't change the texture color in the haze because i am using this only for the selected area so let's go back to the selected area and increase the texture so take note that you don't have to overdo the texture around 25 maybe for the portrait but for the like for example for the objects or landscape texture is a must so for clarity uh, maybe a little i think yeah so if you overdo the clarity it, it desaturates the face also so be careful with that one around there i think since i increased the clarity so it desaturated a little bit so i will return the saturation area so it will um, retain uh, its color around 20 i think so since we brighten up the photo so i can see the color now so you can see it is a bit cool so we want that sunset vibe a bit a warmer vibe on the picture so we increase the temperature around like 400 like 4400 around there then it's a, a bit pink if you can see i can see it's a bit pink for me so we decrease it a little bit so it's too green you want um there okay so the subject temperature is okay but um i want this to be like almost evening color for the background since we warmed up whole, the whole picture we have to bring down the, the the background a little bit just a little bit so use the brush tool brush this the part you want to adjust so if you try to bring down the exposure you can see that the part you used like that okay. so if you hit the subject with your brush tool you can use the negative adjustment using alt and brush out the subject so we'll go back to the origin exposure you adjust it a little bit down we adjust the highlight so you can see the clouds so after selecting the area you can we can now bring down the exposure of the background so you can see it's not adjusting the subject only the background not too much i can bring down the highlights for the sky and cool it a bit down like there okay so let's hit done go back to our basic adjustment so i will increase the vibrance maybe around 15 like around there so it's richer the color is rich saturation maybe around 10 maybe okay so that's our basic adjustment so let's go down to hsl hsl again means hue saturation and luminance so let's go to hue first so for me it, the, the green is a bit distracting it's too green it's like you see the grass first before the subject so i want this to be cooler as well so let's find the green here and move it to a cool side the blue ones don't overdo it because grass are not blue so 
maybe a little bit. So for the skin tone, it's a bit pink or red or something. So I look at that. Maybe I put it to like this yellow side, the green side, but not too much around. Then maybe just to have that human skin and uh, yellow on the orange side. So blue, maybe because uh, you can see her pants, I mean her shorts are a bit purplish. I don't want purple on my picture so I will put this blue color into a teal color. Not too much. Okay, so saturation. So I want the green to be muted. You don't need to desaturate too much for the grass because grass are green so you, don't, you can't take that away. Okay, and orange for the skin tone. I think I like the skin but I need it to be saturated more. So again, you can go back and forth because sometimes your adjustment can affect the other adjustments. So the skin is a bit darker. So we're gonna go to the luminance and brighten up the orange side of her skin. And the yellow for this side, maybe we put it on the brighter yellow. You can see. Too much, not too much there. Darken the greens a little bit. Darken the sky a little bit. See the sky, so it's adjusting so a little bit. Okay, so I think I'm happy with this HSL color. Okay, let's proceed to the split toning. So this is my favorite part. So let's find the shadow here on split toning. So let's put it on the cool side. So you have a range of color here. So if you cannot see what color are you in, you can raise the saturation so you can see what is the color you are adjusting. Okay, that one. So let's go back to saturation zero. Adjust it a little bit. I think that one I love it looks good so you can use this button so to show the before and after yeah it looks it look like I can post this on Instagram now so if you notice that the skin is affected by this adjustment you can increase the hue highlights to so, so you can retain the previous skin tone so increase the the saturation so you can see what color you are adjusting on there so make sure that her skin is still human a person okay so we bring down the saturation so you can see the skin is returning to its color okay so the split toning is done I'm happy with the adjustment so what I need is uh, the highlight is still bright but I think the highlight is, is okay but I want the blacks to be lift off so we can use a black this one but it will affect the other blacks so what you want to do is use the tone curves because tone curves only adjusted the selected part of the, the, the range of the color so for example I want this the darker blacks to be lifted I want the mid-tone to retain I click the mid-tone part maybe brighten up a little bit and this this area I'm happy with this dark part I don't need it to be adjusted also but for the darkest side I can lift that off a little bit so it will look like a faded so this is the faded look if you want to raise the blacks and I want it to be like this faded Okay, so it looks like an old, not too old, but you know, faded, a trend photo, if you will. So this is our final photo. So this is the before, and this is the after. So there's a huge adjustment on our photo, but we're just using the simple adjustment on Lightroom. So hope you like what we did here. Hit that subscribe button, hit like, comment if you want to learn what you want to learn more, and you know, practice, practice, practice.